Hello everyone, here is the storyline for the episode that aired last night. At the beginning of the episode, Uri told Suji that he could no longer keep his love for her a secret. He decided to leave the Sun Young family register and return to being her boyfriend. Uri still didn't know why his eyes were teary when Sun Young asked him to choose Suji, whether he felt sad or happy. But one thing was for sure, now that he had decided to return to Suji, he felt a relief. That night, Sun Young became the first person to know about Uri's decision. She was very grateful and said that she had made the best choice. Sun Young also told Suji that she had actually encouraged Uri to return to her for her own good because she didn't want to see them both continue to suffer. Sun Young also told Suji about Kimari, who had asked for her help in finding a way for Uri and Kimari to do a genetic test. Sun Young said that if Uri was truly Kimari's biological son, then he would be very disappointed and hurt because it would mean he was abandoned by his biological parents when he was very young. He would also be disappointed and suffer because the mother he had always thought was his biological mother wasn't. Suji also felt that this was confusing because it would actually be very good if Kimari was Uri's biological mother but Uri would have to feel disappointed first if that was the case. The next day, Suji and Uri announced their relationship to the whole family. The whole family congratulated them and they were all sure that now their house would be filled with joy because the problem had been resolved. However, I think they couldn't love without problems because the problem of Uri's real identity had not been resolved. The next day, Uri met Jin Tae and told him that he was not willing to be transferred to the Chungju branch because he felt that he was not competent enough to the head of the psychiatric department there. He felt that the opportunity was not right for him. But then Jin Tae told Uri that he was the one who chose Uri and that meant he was sure of his abilities. Jin Tae tried his best to encourage Uri to think about the offer again. At the same time, Kimari entered Jin Tae's room and Uri came out. Uri, Kimari said that she felt that Jin Tae was forcing Uri to move to the Chungju branch as if he was trying to distance Uri from her. Jin Tae of course denied this. In this episode, Suji also brought up Uri's previous dream. She wanted to know if he remembered where the dream took place and why he had cried after waking up from it. Uri explained that he couldn't remember the location and he said that he didn't know the exact reason he cried because he just felt very sad after waking up from the dream. This problem disturbed Suji's mind, so she met Kimari and asked her to invite her and Uri to have dinner at her house. Kimari of course agreed. Suji then told Uri that it would be better if he came with her to have dinner at Kimari's house because he could explain to Kimari that he is not Hyunwoo, while at Kimari's house, Uri could also think again about what his dream meant. Previously, Uri had a sad dream after returning from Kimari's house, and Suji hoped that this time by coming to Kimari's house, it could trigger Uri's memory about the dream. Okay everyone, that's the storyline for this time. Thank you for watching my video.